what is up everybody so we're on this in the Subaru we're gonna go to Paisley and uh, yeah, I figured I'd bring you along we do have some Subaru merch I was able to get something to go through without getting slapped in the face with the band hammer so uh, go check that out yeah, I wanted to go for a bike ride and your boys gaining some weight right now so <laughs> well, this is actually different so this, this road right here needs to be super soft and you had to carry your momentum all the way through that uphill section down there. But if you if you didn't carry, if you stopped about halfway through, you were just gonna spin. So this is kind of nice how they flattened it out. So We switched over to the chest cam. We're gonna get some miles in on the trail. And then we'll, maybe after we get some, I'll do like the half loop here. And then uh, when we get back, we'll go explore a little bit more around the area, see what we can take the vehicle on. And then also try to scout some trails for the Hawk. So we can tow this thing out, that thing out here. I already know if I tow it out here, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Cause on the way here, there's nothing but just dirt bike and ATV trails. Most of the trails out here are dirt bike, ATV type stuff. So uh, it's right up the Hawks Alley. <laughs> this thing was a pain to get. Uh, it took me forever to get this bike and I never thought, I thought I was never gonna get the bike. <laughs> so they lost the bike twice in shipping, which I, I'm not gonna blame it. It's crazy right now, you know, holidays and whatnot. Once they lost it in California, they found it. And then second time they lost it here when it first got to Florida. Good news is I did get my bike, but as soon as I got it, it didn't fit my bike rack because it doesn't have enough space here. So I bought this bike rack on Amazon. These are the new Fuker bearing. They're like roller bearings and they're rebuildable. It's crazy. <laughs> Chinese, dude, they're getting better and better every year. I accidentally locked my bike. I meant to unlock it. This probably won't take long. It's not a very exciting trail, so we'll be catch. I'll catch you back in a bit. Whew. Oh. From the wide open wilderness to this literally inside the forest and bear territory. <laughs> the biggest mistake you can do is not make yourself known. Because if you come up on a, most of the time you come up on a bear, it's by surprise. So you want to make yourself as loud as possible. That way he can run away before you get to him. Because that's what he'll do. He'll run away. He's not going to stick around and wait for you. They got bears, deers, all kinds of animals out here. Mostly black bears. And every now and then you can see them crossing the road. Oh, big enough. That's a big drop for this type of trail. <laughs> yeah, this trail's good. I mean, this trail's good in its own way. It's definitely not like a, uh, a Mount Dora or a Santos. But it's got a really good wilderness, really good views. Lots and lots of good exercise, so that's good. It's good for its own way, its own reasons. This looks really cool. It's kind of eerie looking, like the tree line and everything. Looks pretty cool. Heck yeah, look at that. Woo! That looks like fun. <laughs> you do want to watch these crossings if you come biking out here, because especially on four wheelers. There's some people that have like racing quads and they are flying. Even if he's full brakes on that sand, he's not stopping for a good 20 feet, so. <laughs> oh my God, it's one of those trails where it's like, when is it gonna end? It's torture, but it kind of feels good, you know? <laughs> Oh, 
<gasps> my car! <sighs> that rear brake doesn't stop at all. It's kind of like anti-lock brakes. <laughs> Did you hear that? It's like... <laughs> And oh my god, dude, that's one of those trails where it's just like you want it to end. <laughs> so, getting the uh, bike all packed up. But we still got some trails to go hit, so we'll go see what's what's out there. Alright, so I know we got, uh, I know I said I wouldn't use the head mount, but uh, I kind of need two hands for this. We follow this and we take the first left, and we'll just go back to. The main road through that little county, the county state forest road. Now for this, I prefer traction off because the loose sand will just all you'll see here is the traction control going. So you turn traction control off, and it's still engaged, but it's not as aggressive, so you won't hear it every single time your wheels spin. that way it is it is that way so I tried to lower the seat to make it to where you can kind of see me a little better man I hope this is a road that we're allowed to be on The way you ride a Subaru too, because it is a CVT, you ride it a lot like a side-by-side. -side. So if you've ridden a lot of Can-Ams and side-by-sides, they're CVTs, so it's very similar. Hey Google, take me home. Technology! Oh my God. Hunting dog? I think that's a hunting dog. Yeah, those are hunting dogs. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. That's not good. Well, just like every time, uh, really glad y'all stopped in for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video a little bit, and until next time, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.